Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back inside the Remix Lounge located at the Strat Casino on the Las Vegas Strip. If you're new here, welcome! Aside from live show review videos like this, we also do live streams, music reviews, interviews, whiskey reviews, and more. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future stuff. After taking a week off for the Easter holiday, host Hal Savar and the performers were all ready to kick things off again. So wipe the chocolate off your hands and change out of your bunny onesie, because we're going to a show. Unless you want to wear a bunny onesie. No judging over here. First off, let me apologize to the performers affected and those of you who tuned into the live stream for the terrible audio quality at the beginning of the stream. Shout out to recent friend of the channel, Aubrey Digital, for giving me the heads up. Why was the audio so bad? One last all or nothing gambit! So what happened was... I wanted to use my shotgun microphone that plugs into the USB-C port of a phone that I use for most of my videos. That way, the live stream audience could hear more music and less casino noise. So I found a dongle online <laughs> dongle, that allows for two USB-C connections at the same time. That way, I could charge the phone and record audio. Seemed like a win-win. Preliminary tests were promising, so I gave it a shot. Oh well. Back to the review. The show started off with singer-songwriter Josh Gilbert, better known as the Alter to Script. His singing comes from a deep place within, and his playing uses moments of silence to make his lyrics stand out. He'll be coming on the channel in June, and I'm looking forward to it. If you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address or social media links in the description. It's also where you can find ways to support the channel. Up next was Kathy Reese, performing on keyboard and singing songs like her single, Her Moon and Stars. Kathy caught everyone's attention immediately with synthesized guitar that came out of nowhere and paired well with her other keyboard sounds. It was unexpected, in a good way, and set the stage nicely for when she started singing. The third act of the night was Tara Trent, whose music is described by her as real music and songs about things that really matter in life. This carries through in her onstage performance, with solid music and a lack of histrionics or drama, almost forcing the audience to listen closer to the story she's weaving with her songwriting. Next batter up was Jeremiah Clay Neal, a singer-songwriter who also is a playwright. His music is upbeat and quirky, and his singing and playing style are reminiscent of other wordsmiths like Jack Johnson and Jason Mraz, while being unique to himself and just a little risque in nature. Once again, making the pilgrimage from Arizona to Vegas for the showcase, Angie was up next on stage. Whether singing while playing her guitar or singing to a track, Angie performs with soul and a full sound. Keep your eyes peeled for her upcoming interview and performance on the channel. It ought to be a good one. Hal Savar jumped on stage next with his friend Shay joining him on saxophone. Hal's a powerhouse on stage, whether by himself or with other musicians. Shay's sax playing only added to each song's depth and drove the music forward nicely. Incidentally, if you'd like to be a featured performer at a future showcase, hit up Hal using one of the many social media links I put in the description. The next two acts were actually the same people from the same band, but reversed. Stick with me on this one. Joey Hines was up next, with bandmate Mandolin on hand drum and backing vocals. These two are half of the band The Maybe Four. Joey's been featured on this channel enough to have his own playlist, but he keeps amazing me with his talent and songwriting ability. Once Joey was done with his stuff, he and Mandolin literally just switched places and it was her turn to shine. Switching from the drum to guitar, with Joey switching from guitar to bass, Mandolin's performance was soulful as always. Her songwriting is solid and full of confidence that's only grown as I've known her. I'm excited to get the entire band on the channel one day soon. Another frequent showcase performer and guest on Room 6 in the near future, David Wax jumped on stage. Like a few other performers of the evening, David sang to both his own guitar playing and a previously recorded track. Either way, his chord structures and dynamic vocal phrasing once again made him a crowd favorite. And speaking of crowd favorites, it was time for Cameron Paul to hop on stage, and he always 
brings the fans. The only performer of the evening singing completely to recorded tracks, Cameron delivered smooth, flowing lyrics and a passionate performance. It'll be nice to hear him perform in Room 6 soon. Another repeat showcase performer, Chalmer Harper, was next on the mic. Not to be outdone by some of the other acts, Chalmer was also joined on stage by his friend Chris, who lent some electric noodling on his guitar to Chalmer's set. The addition of electric guitar gave Chalmer's already powerful songwriting some extra punch and was a nice change of pace. Finishing up the night, Hal was joined on stage by multiple members of past showcase performers Intuitive Soul, along with a return by Shea on saxophone. Considering the band had never played together with Hal, it was remarkably tight, and it was obvious to all musicians there that people were listening for their cues and paying attention to Hal. It was a great way to finish a great night of music and friends. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll swing by the Strat if you're in the area, and hopefully come to Remix Lounge on Sunday, 7 p.m. for the Homegrown Songwriter Showcase. Uh, other than that, if you'd like to, like I said, be on the channel, uh, hit me up. Email, social media links, all that stuff. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it really would mean a lot, please click down there. Don't forget to swing by room6.shop for some great merch. We've got some discounted stuff coming up. And uh, yeah, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.